<laughs> Just kidding. It's only Tristan from Tristan Entertainment. What we are going to do today is build a balloon pirate sword. In order to build this, we are going to need one 260 balloon. Go ahead and inflate that almost all the way, leaving about an inch left up at the tip. <gasps> there we go. About one inch there. Now, go ahead and tie that off. We are going to start with the cross guard. In order to do that, we are going to make a 10 inch loop. I'm holding the nozzle with my first finger there. As I twist it around, then I take that nozzle and I stick it all the way through that loop. That kind of locks it off so that's not going to go anywhere. Next, I like to add a little pinch twist here. In order to do a pinch twist, if you haven't seen the other tutorials, twist off a little bubble, take your two fingers, grip it over top just like this, and that's going to be your twisting action. Next, take your thumb, push it into one of the twists there, and our goal is to get this twist to touch this twist. So I'm going to take it, pull it up slightly as I twist, and that's how your pinch twist should look. Next, we are going to work on the hilt of the balloon, uh, the little guard that uh, protects your fingers. I like to twist in six bubbles down the front of it. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, and six. Now, a little tip when twisting multiple balloons, always hold the first bubble as you twist them all and the last bubble, right? Because these ones in the middle, they're not going to go anywhere as long as you hold the both sides. Also, when you're twisting a ton of them, pull your hand so it goes underneath. That way, if you keep twisting along here, you can twist as many as you like. Sometimes when you go this way, it's going to be a little bit too uh, congested there. Now, take that, the tip of the sword, and stick it through the loop. I like to take my fingers, hold in that position as I pull through with this hand here until that's about right. Take it, give it a little bend so it's nice and straight, and you have yourself a balloon sword. Guard. Thank you so much for watching that balloon tutorial. I hope you learned a few new skills there. If you have any questions about how some of the twists were done, you can take a look at the basics video right down here. Or if you would like to see a few of the other balloon tutorials that we've done, take a look at this one right here. I'll just wait right here until you click on something. <laughs>